I remember a long time ago, that was early 2000s. I don't know if that was 2002 um, or the beginning of 2003. I don't know. But I got up that that morning and I was uh, got woke up out of a, a vision where I was transported. Some of you may know about this. Some of you may have experienced this before. But God transported me to Baghdad. I, did, I didn't know. I'm, I'm being perfectly honest with you. I didn't know nothing about Baghdad. I didn't know nothing about Baghdad. But God transported me there. All I can see is the darkness, the rocky roads. I can still see the rocks on the road. I can still see this big yellow school uh, bus, look like a school bus that we would use here in America. And all of these older people on this bus, Caucasian people, all, only only black one I saw was me. And I and I we was going. It was dark, pitch black, and. And the Lord, we was going down a war zone. And the Lord told me, he said, I want you to sing this song. And when you sing this song, the power of God is going to fall down. I had no idea. And when I lift up, I see, I seen, I seen the sights, the sound, everything. Come on, this wasn't a dream. This was being transported in the spirit. And if you don't know nothing about that, go and read the book of Ezekiel. Come on. God used him like that would take him into places. Hallelujah. And so I woke up. My two older kids were in high school at the time. One probably was in the ninth grade. The other one probably was in 11th grade. And I, and I ran to them because I would let them get ready first. And I say, hey, hey, where is Baghdad? Baghdad, did, do you guys know of a place called Baghdad? And one of them trying to explain. And then I remember I had this t-shirt in the drawer with all these countries, flags of different countries. Somebody went somewhere and bought me back that souvenir. And I, I remember I went and ran to look to see if I saw that. And I'm like, God, what are you saying? What, what is going on here? God, I don't understand this, but I know I just came from that place. Didn't understand it at all. But later on, as I was writing one of my books, I was sharing this story with my editor. God rest his soul. Now he's going on to be with the Lord. He was a Christian man. And also he was a military man as well. He served in the military. And um, I believe he served in Afghanistan. And he told me, he said, Apostle Proctor, let me tell you, let me break this down to you, what God is showing you. He said, do you know that that is where the war kicked off? Come on. Hallelujah. He said, so God had you there, transported you there so that you can sing over the place, so you can pray over the place. In spite of what took place, God still wanted you to do that. And I'm like, okay, that makes me feel so much better. But God literally gave me a song, a song I did not know. And I began to sing that song. And let me tell you, months after that, the war broke out. And when the Lord gave me that, I got it. I believe I got this, this uh, written right in the back of this book because I didn't want to lose it. If it's not this book, it's one of these books. I know it's one of the prophets and the prophetic from Bill Hammond. Yeah. Uh, 73101. I don't know if you can see it. It's very light and fainted. I, I recorded that here. Mm, so that I don't lose it. 